Butterflies are an important part of the ecosystem and their decline in population could create problems. CCX News reporter Meredith Hackler shows us how wildlife experts and one local business are doing their part to raise the population numbers. When you visit the Maple Grove Farmer's Market, there's one vendor you wouldn't expect to run into. Only about 3% of the monarch population survives in nature. So if we can get the kids out there and saving caterpillars and raising butterflies, you know, we're going to be a lot better off. Rebecca started her business 11 years ago for just that reason, to educate people about the impact butterflies make on the ecosystem. Well, what I'm hoping they're doing is learning and, and uh, then being able to identify milk so many people don't even can, can't even identify milkweed and uh, just teaching them the, the knowledge of how to save the caterpillars from the wild. While Rebecca is doing her part through her business, John Moyardi and his team at Three Rivers Park District regularly monitor butterfly habitat. We're monitoring several species of butterflies so what we do is come out about every other week and we walk these designated transects so it's basically sections of the trail and we count the butterflies of a particular species. While the monarch butterfly isn't endangered at this time, several groups have petitioned to have the insect added to the endangered species list due to its population decline. A lot of it has been due to habitat loss. When you know you convert millions of acres of prairie and grasslands into millions of acres of cornfields and soybeans, you don't have the habitat for the the monarch. While people should be concerned about the population of monarch butterflies, Moyardi says there are other species of butterflies people should be concerned about as well. There is a lot of concern for monarchs, which is rightful to, to be concerned about monarchs, but there are you know, hundreds of butterflies in Minnesota and there's a number of other butterflies that are in just as bad of condition as far as populations as the monarchs. Meredith Hackler, CCX News. To do your part, Moriarty suggests adding native plants to your existing garden, which will attract native butterflies.